Okay, sixth grade, lesson 67. This is on using prime factorization to reduce fractions. Do you remember what prime factorization is? Yes. Okay. You make like a tree. Yes, right, doing the trees, okay? Do you remember what um, reducing fractions is? Um, yes. Okay. What? You like multiply it into where both of them divide it yeah. to reduce. Okay, good. So what you're going to use today, okay, so as I was saying, we're going to take and reduce fractions, okay, because you divide to reduce, okay? You're going to use this method when you have a fraction that is a large number like this, okay? If I told you to, let's see, um, to reduce this one, 6 eighths, how would you do that? Uh, you could reduce it by 2. Uh-huh. So you would divide them both by 2. It would be 3 fourths. Very good. Okay? So it's pretty easy when you have a small numbers in the fraction, numerator and denominator. But when you have large ones like this, you're going to use the prime factorization factor tree to figure it out. Okay? okay. So what you'll do is we'll take one number and we'll break it down. Okay, now we did this one the other day. Do you remember which ones we used to break this one down? Um, it has a 25 in it, just to give you a hint. 25 times uh, what? Five, I Yep. Mm -hmm. So, do I have any prime factors so far? Um, five, yes. Uh -huh. Now, let's break down the 25. It's five times five. Okay, so now we've gotten it. It's complete, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to erase this, or on your paper, you can write it out to the side. Okay, okay. so I'm going to show you what I mean by that. It was five times five times five. So I'm going to put five times five times five up here, and we're done with that one. Okay, mm -hmm. I want you to do the same thing. Got it? Yep. Now we're going to take a thousand. Okay? So, right, I'm going to have to put it over here because I don't have enough room on the board. Okay? You can do it anywhere on your paper. Now we're going to break down a thousand. Okay? Okay. What will go into a thousand? Ten times. Ten will. Ten times. Hundred? A hundred because one, two, three zeros. One, yeah. two, three. Pretty easy to do it like that, right? Yeah. If I did 10 times 10, that wouldn't be 1,000 because it'd be only two zeros. Yeah. Make it 100. So that's 1,000. Okay? 100 times 10. Will this break down anymore? Um, yes. Yes. 10 yeah. will break down. 5 times 5. 5 times 2. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Are those both prime? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. But 100 is not. Yeah. 2 times 50. 2 times 50 or 10 times 10. We'll just do 2 times 50 because you thought of that one. Okay? okay. Any prime two. numbers? Two. Yeah, two is. So we're stopped here. Now we got to keep going with this one. I think that's. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my pencil. Um, 2 times 15? No. Mm -hmm. No, that's 30. 25 times 2. Or oh, yeah. anything ends in a zero, you can always 10 times whatever. Oh. So ten, 10 times 5, yeah. Five. Okay. Either one of those prime? Well, 5 is. we got to keep going with this one. we got to do 2 times 5. Okay. We're done. Yeah. Fine. So, I'm going to put all of these in order. 2 times 2 times, there's another 2, 5, 5, and 5. Times 5, times 5, times 5. Okay. You should have gotten 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5, and that equals 1,000. You got that? Mm -hmm. Now, the original problem was this. 125 over 1,000. This was 125's prime factorization, right? Yeah. This was 1,000's prime factorization, right? So, we're going to put this over this. And guess what you can do? The 5 and the 5 cross out and make one whole. Because remember, if you saw 5 over 5 like this, what would it make? One whole, right? Mm -hmm. So that makes one whole. 
Okay, this next five makes a hole. And this five makes a hole. So three over no. the two. What? No. So this five and five, this five and five, and this five and five. So these all become one because it's one hole, right? Yeah. So now one times one times one is three. one. You're not adding, you're multiplying. Oh. Okay. One times one times one is one. One times three is three. Yeah. Okay. Two times two times two. Two times two is four. Four oh. times two is uh, eight. eight. We just reduced it. That went to that by using prime factorization. You understand? Yep. Kind of? Mm -hmm. Okay. Feel like you got it? Mm -hmm. Let's do one more that's on there. Okay. Ready? 375 over 1,000. Now, we already know 1,000, right? We already know how to break that one down. Tell me the numbers. Mm -hmm. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. Okay? So that's what breaks down prime factorization for 1,000. Because we just did that. But now let's do 375. Okay? So 375. What number will go into this? I would only start with 5. Or maybe even a 25. Because it ends in 5. So what are you going to do? Start with a 5 or a 25? Let's say 25. Let's try 25. So I'm going to take 25, divide 375 by 25 and see what our answer is going to be. Oh dear. How many 25s equal 125? Six of them, right? Yeah. 25, 25, 25, 25. No, five of them. Right? So 25 times 15 equals 375. Right? Yeah. Do you see how I got that? Mm -hmm. 25 times 15 equals 375. So I'm going to go 25 times 15. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Can it keep reducing? Or are those prime numbers? Uh, 25 is not a prime number. Right? And neither is 15. So what will go into 25? Um, 5 times 5. Very good. Are those both prime? Yep. Yep. And those are done. 15. 5 times 3. 3 equals 15. Are those prime numbers? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to write them in order from smallest to largest. Since we're doing 375, look what I'm doing. I'm putting them up here. 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. 3, 5, 5, 5. Got it? Okay, what can I do? You can cross out some of the fives. Okay. That makes a one. Mm -hmm. That one makes a two. one. That makes a one. And there's nothing else to do. So it equals three over two times two times two. Which okay. two times two times two is? Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So my final answer, after I have been able to reduce and cross out, is 3 eighths. So the answer to this is 3 eighths. Feel like you understand it pretty good? Yes. Okay, that's lesson 67.